Welcome biologists, we are looking at biodiversity taken from the OCR specification for A-level biology 4.2.1. We're looking at specification point F, where we're looking at the factors that affect biodiversity. And this has to include human population growth, agriculture and climate change. So we should know that the human population is increasing exponentially, as you can see from this graph. And that comes with its own problems, um, the increasing of the human population size. And some of the impacts of the human um, humans have on the environment um, due to the population increases, obviously we need more resources, we need more um, spaces to live, therefore we need to cause deforestation and, and habitat destruction in order to create our own houses. Um, we also need more food as well. Um, so we take advantage of the land for use of crops. <clears throat> Therefore, we, we create a loss of biodiversity and we can also create extinction through hunting and we can also kill for protection. For example, mosquitoes, that would also decrease the biodiversity. We kill to prevent competition for, such as pests. And we also cause introduction of animals that can cause problems. For example, the grey squirrel from America, which cause, which carries with it um, uh, squirrel pox, which kill, kills off the red native squirrel to the UK. So here's an example of a graph which just shows to you the level of extinction and its predicted level of extinction as we go through into the future. So it's due to, uh, the level of extinction is due to rise. We're gonna explore some of those issues now. So an example of an animal that's already been become extinct is the dodo. And this was due to um, predators, land predators, because it doesn't fly. So land predators that were introduced on the island of Mauritius, but it was also hunted and used by sailors for food. But also because it was um, a land animal, a land bird, it didn't fly. Its eggs, obviously, its nest would be on the ground, which also would get um, hunted by predators. And uh, now this is a problem at the moment in New Zealand through an introduction of um, predators, such as foxes and cats. And these, um, unfortunately are, are causing problems for the native species of like the kia and the kiwi bird that ha are nest the ground nesting birds um, we also have things for example the tasmanian wolf this is extinct now this was hunted for its fur um, by people uh, in Australia uh, and this can be seen today um, where animals unfortunately are hunted for things so for example here we can see an elephant that's been killed for its tusks here has been a rhino that's been killed for its, uh, its horn and here you can see an example of different kinds of animals that have been hunted and killed off for different reasons so this is a snake skin obviously you can see gorilla heads and hands and then you can see different um, cat skins there um, which obviously will go for big money as well um, so it can this can decimate um, populations within the wild. That we know that some species of rhino are going extinct, and there's only a handful of some left, um, which is pretty sad. So the human population growth can have a big impact on the biodiversity of different species. Um, we can also impact through climate climate change. We all know what climate change is, obviously through the emission of greenhouse ga greenhouse gases uh, and um, the the deforestation, which is not helping. We get climate change. That's our current climate change. But in the past, obviously, climate change wiped out the mammoths and it also wiped out the dinosaurs. But our current climate change through global warming impacts us in different ways. Obviously, because the um, atmosphere is increasing in temperature, we have melting of the ice caps which is raising the temperature uh, because our temperature of the sea is, is increasing. This is why it's melting. Now, increasing the temperature of the sea, obviously we get the, the habitat of some animals going away, but we also get some habitats being destroyed. So this is at the coral, how it should be. But due to the increase by a couple of degrees, the sea of the sea, it causes coral bleaching and therefore this decimates the coral habitats. We also have increased things in drought. We have increased in tropical storms, increase in forest fires, like the terrible one that happened in Australia recently. Uh, and so all of these are impacts of global warming, which will massively impact on biodiversity. So we're halfway through this lesson objective. I'm going to stop here and we're going to carry on with the next part in the second part of this video. So this was part one. We're now going to look at part two. All of this is a lot of common sense as well, though. And I advise that you do watch things like the Green, the Blue Planet by David Attenborough to help with this.